Welcome back to Digging Wyoming. We've had a lot of interest and comments on our dinosaur bone videos and a lot of people are really interested on how to identify a dinosaur bone or a fossil and they've asked you know kind of our process and it's it's pretty elementary. Uh, we go out in the field if we see a unique looking rock or something that looks out of the ordinary we will pick it up, we will bring it home, we'll clean it up. Some of them, you know, are just rocks. Sometimes we, we find a good one. Uh, the bone that we've dug out for you to look at today is from a phytosaur, which was basically a prehistoric alligator or crocodile. It's from the Triassic period. Um, this is a scute. Off the phytosaur and it basically sat on the back like this and it was a piece of the armor like you'd see on a dinosaur or a crocodile modern day one this is a picture of the phytosaur and basically it would be one of these pieces that stick up like that here's a picture of the skeleton showing the scutes and there's some up front here, and then there's one towards the back. They, they got bigger towards the back. So like I say, what drew us to this one was it was unique. It was, you know, rocks usually do not break off like this in, in, in nature. They'll, they'll cleave, they'll have straight points and stuff like that. So what you want to do is you bring these home. You get you a toothbrush or just a regular old brush and clean all the dirt off them, get, get them good and clean, uh, inspect them both dry and wet because you'll get a different perspective each way and a magnifying glass is a must and you can get in there and what you want to look for is any kind of cell structure. And you can see the porous cell structure in, in, inside there. And some of them will actually have uh, some skin that you can still see on there. Other ident identifying marks. I'm not sure how good that's coming out in the camera. And another way that you can check a bone and it's it's gonna sound kind of funny is what they call the lick test you don't actually lick the bone you just put your tongue to the bone and the porous nature of the dinosaur bone will make it feel like it's pulling your your tongue in, into the bone one of the drawbacks of finding dinosaur bones and fossils is about all of them are gonna be a little bit at least radioactive some of them are actually pretty hot if you can take them in to your local university or college uh, there'll usually be somebody there that will be more than happy to help look at what you got maybe try to identify it they can test for how radioactive it is this this one is it didn't even register so it didn't didn't have hardly any radioactivity um, look, look at them. You can see the, the straight line across there, the porous parts. You can see right there, it was maybe a little bit of skin cover that was left on this one. And enjoy yourself when you're, at, when you're out there and be careful. We just recently opened up a trading post. We call it Wyoming Digging Wyoming Trading Post. We're up by Pavilion, Wyoming. If you're ever in the neighborhood and you got some rocks or some fossils you want us to look at, bring them in. Another thing that we will do with bones to help us identify them is we got rock saws. And we'll, we'll cut a portion of them out and look inside. If we're not seeing anything that's real definite on that uh, outside, we can cut them open and look on the inside and the inside will almost always have the cell structure 
that is real defined and it makes it really easier that way so happy hunting if you're up in our area digging Wyoming trading post we're close to Pavilion Wyoming uh, stop in and see us give us a thumbs up subscribe and have a great day thank you